Hello everyone. In this video, I will be talking about generating different types of fingerprints using PaddlePy. So what is PaddlePy? Paddle is a software to calculate molecular descriptors and fingerprints. This software can calculate various 1D, 2D and 3D descriptors along with 12 different types of fingerprints. Paddle Pi is a Python wrapper for Paddle Descriptor software. It is basically an extension for Python of the Paddle Descriptor software for calculating various molecular descriptors and fingerprints. It was created to allow direct access to the Paddle Descriptor command line interface via Python. Now before I talk about the code, let us just have a look at the workflow of how we are going to proceed in this problem. So first we need to set up our Google Colab notebook and we will install and import various libraries such as PaddlePy, Pandas, Globe and Time. Time library will help us to calculate the total time taken for generating all these fingerprints using Python. Next we will be importing a data frame which would contain smile strings of the molecules. And in the next step, we are going to be using this paddle descriptor function of paddle pi, which would take certain commands as input for calculating different fingerprints. For example, we need to put the name of input file, which would contain the smile strings. And we need to put the name of our output file in which we want to store our fingerprints. This is really important because we also need to tell this function that which descriptor we want to calculate. However, there is a caveat here because the default paddle pi wrapper for Python can only aid in generating a single fingerprint called pubcam fingerprint. In order to make my point more clear, I will take you to the official GitHub page of paddle pi. This is the official page of paddle pi wrapper and this is the code here. Let's go into the paddle pi directory and then into paddle descriptor directory. Now there is a file called descriptors.xml which is a highly important file. It contains all the information regarding various groups of 2D descriptors, 3D descriptors and fingerprints. Since in this video we are only focused on fingerprints, let's just have a look at this section of this file. You can see here there are names of 12 different fingerprints but the value of each of them is false except pubcam fingerprint. So when we are gonna give the command it will only calculate pubcam fingerprint. Now in order to calculate all these 12 fingerprints, you need to have 12 files and in each file you need to have true value for the fingerprint that you want to calculate. Again, you don't have to do that. There is a zip folder on this GitHub directory which contains all these files and we are gonna be importing that in our Google Colab notebook. After we have all the files in place, we will run a for loop and it will give us an output containing all the 12 molecular fingerprints. Now the output will look something like that where we have smiles and molecular fingerprints and this is a format for one single fingerprint and there will be 12 files similar to that. So without further ado, let's go back to our code. Let's just go ahead and install PaddlePy and import PaddlePy as well as other important libraries. After successful installation and importing, we will file that zip file that I just showed you in our temporary folder with this wget command. So as you can see here, this descriptor underscore xml dot zip file is in our temporary folder. Now let's just unzip this folder, which will give you 12 different xml files corresponding to each unique fingerprint. So as you can see here, now we have all these 12.xml files, which we can use for calculating our fingerprints. Now let's just import these file names as a, as a list. So now you can see the names of all these files have been stored in xml underscore files as a list. Now let's just import our data set. So the data set that I'm using here consists of around 14 different heteroaromatics and just for simplicity, I am uploading only the smile strings of these molecules. 
next we will convert this data set into dot smi file because that's requirement for the paddle descriptor function that we are going to be using here now after running this code this heteroaromatic stored smi file has been again stored here somewhere in our temporary folder now this is the most important step where we'll run a for loop and it will generate iterate, iteratively all the 12 fingerprints in the first step i am using a range equal to the length of the xml file which is equal to 12 so it will run the loop 12 times so better descriptor is a function that will calculate all these descriptors and we need to input the uh, file name which contains the smile strings heteroaromatic stored smi which we have just generated we need to provide the name of the output file now the name should be same as that of our fingerprint so what i have done here is i have extracted the names of these files without dot xml extension and we are going to be storing these as dot csv files again we need to mention what type of descriptor or what type of fingerprint we need to calculate so this command here will grab the name of the fingerprint file along with dot xml extension retain order command will give us the output in the same order as that of our input fingerprints is equal to true that means we want to calculate the fingerprint these t2d and d3d descriptors are false here because at this point we are not interested in calculating these 2d and 3d descriptors in the end we will just print the name of the fingerprint along with done so that we know that that fingerprint code has already done now let us just run this for one iteration for that i'm gonna be breaking this code now after one iteration the code will not move further and first fingerprint in the category is atom pair 2d fingerprint count so it has finished calculating this fingerprint so let's just have a look at the output now in the output we just have a random name and the atom pair fingerprint with a length of 780 now instead of name it's better if we have these smile strings so that we know the fingerprint corresponds to which molecule one way is you just drop the name column from this data frame and manually append it to our original data frame which contains only smile strings so let's just go ahead and see the output for this so now I have dropped now the edited data set will look something like that where the fingerprint portion is same but we have replaced the name with smiles and you can just go ahead and save this file but this could be a tedious task if you want to do it manually for each and every fingerprint so what I have done is I have put this code in the for loop where the first fp underscore name would grab the name of the fingerprint second I'm reading this csv file which we have just generated at the end of this code and then i am dropping the name and concatenating it to the original data frame which contains smile strings and in the end i will be saving this file as csv with the same name as fingerprint name so let's just go ahead and run this for the first fingerprint which is atom pair 2d fingerprint count so this fingerprint has been stored as a csv file here and let's just have a look at the output so now you can see here uh, instead of name we have smile string so let's just run so let's just remove this break command here and let the for loop do its job you can see the progress here After it has finished running this code, all these CSV files of the fingerprints are stored in your Google Colab temporary folder and you can just download it on your computer and use it for QSAR or machine learning modeling study. We have already seen the atom pair 2D fingerprint count data frame. Let us just randomly grab and check some other fingerprints. I'm gonna go ahead and see the data frame of extended fingerprint. 
so just copy the path and paste it here I'm gonna name it EF So we have extended fingerprint here and the length is 1024 as the first one is the smile strings. Again, you can go ahead and look at some other fingerprints like pubcam, copy the path, paste it here. And you can see we have the pubcam fingerprint of length equal to 881 please let me know in the comments if there is a better way to generate all these fingerprints in the end just out of curiosity if you want to see how much time it took me to calculate 12 different fingerprints of 14 different molecules i'm be i'm gonna be importing this time library and i'm gonna just start i'm just gonna see the difference between start time and end time with this code so let's just delete the runtime reconnect rerun so it will start counting the time from here before installing paddle pi and importing all these libraries and and end time will be counted at the end of this for loop so let the code run and see how much time it takes So the code has just finished running and it has taken us 79 seconds little more than one minute to generate all these 12 fingerprints for 14 different molecules the code has been provided in the description and thank you for watching